And new today, the state updated its isolation guidance for people with monkeypox. It now says stay isolated until the lesions have fully healed and a fresh layer of skin grows over them. Political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. The state says it wants to get rid of the stigma connected to the LGBTQ community, Morgan, but they say there's more work that needs to be done. I did speak with several LGBTQ organizations today that said they are very happy with the state's new communication efforts, but they said the state and the federal government still need to do a lot more to make sure that communities are getting access to what they need. For one, they said they need full FDA approval for a medication that already exists to treat the painful symptoms. Alex Silva said he knows he fits into the category of high risk. As a Latino, as a transgender man, um, as someone who's LGBTQ. But you see, he lives in the center of the state. He travels to urban areas of the state for work often though. It brings a bigger risk of me bringing that back here to my staff members, to the community members, to my family or loved ones. He said he had a fight to get the limited supply of the vaccine being allocated in more rural areas. We need to go to those areas where they can't access transportation, uh, where they don't have um, a lot of access to healthcare or education or information on it. Jorge Salinas with Equality California agreed. We're hearing a lot about that people taking off a whole day of work to go and drive to these um, urban areas and still be turned away because there was only a short supply of vaccines available. I asked CDPH Director Dr. Aragon to address their equity concerns. Thank you for that for that important uh, question. So if you live in a county uh, in the Central Valley, then that's where the case would be reported. And then, um, and that's how we're, distri we're distributing uh, uh, the, the vaccine. In a broader conversation, reporters also asked about what resources are available to people who have to quarantine for weeks and potentially miss work. Yeah, this is, this is a general challenge. The state continues to look at uh, options. And now that a vial of the vaccine can be divided into five doses, does that impact how much the federal government is going to give to California? So what the federal government is now doing, and so this is a transition week, they, they have moved from counting vials, which used to be one dose, they're now counting doses. In the most recent numbers from the state, there are about 40 women who got monkey pox. Now, Dr. Aragon says he doesn't know the specifics about those cases and how they got it, because right now, largely the messaging is that it goes from a man who has sex with another man. But he said he is going to look into those cases and get back to us. Now, Morgan, the most recent reports showed that several people experiencing homelessness got monkeypox here in San Diego. Did the director say anything about any worries about the spreading throughout encampments? Well, we did reach out to San Diego County, who was able to confirm for us that those three individuals, homeless individuals who got monkeypox, were able to isolate. As for the director, he did want to emphasize when asked about that question that this is from intimate skin-to-skin -skin contact, like kissing or intercourse, he said. 